Boom. I'm Martino. I'm Nabil. And we're about to take you on a tour of the Russian World Cup. We're going to Moscow. Novgorod. Kazan. And Yekaterinburg. And out the way, we're going to be taking trains the whole time. And we're going to show you what's up with Russia 2018. So we're in the middle of the Luzhniki Stadium right now on this tour. The stadium was first built for the Russia World Cup in 1950s. And by World Cup, I meant the Olympics. Quite cool looking. I'm about to take a whiff of the new World Cup final grass. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. We just left the Luzhniki Stadium and now we are going to the locomotive stadium thanks to the circular train and beautiful train overground and you can see all the best places of Moscow. Do you know the video? Oh my god. So we're gonna replay this. We're gonna replay this. So there's one game where a guy, Russian, runs the field, runs the field, runs the whole field, runs the whole field, then he gets here, then he gets here, then he gets up on there, and with a scarf, they catch him. It's impossible. Look at the gap. How the hell did that man not die? Fantastic. It's uh, tonight Spartak Moscow against Liverpool. We're really excited. Sunshine. Right now we're about to take a train, leaving Moscow, headed to Novgorod. We're gonna go on a five-hour train ride, and then we're gonna walk to Nizhny Novgorod until about 12.40 at night. Russian Railways Crips. Perfect. Come in. Let me take you on a little tour. Stand in heaven seat. Here, you get your safe. Get your TV. How are you doing on TV? Oh, look at this. I'm turning on channels. Hey, see, come, 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 come. Bathroom and shower. Whoa. When you have your meal, pull out your luxurious table. Having a meal for two, there's two tables. Ha ha. You really want to strap yourself in. <laughs> Sleep tight. All the amenities. Back kitchen. You can see they're cooking fresh food on the grill right there. He's got chicken, he's got eggs going on. By the way, wines. They're not messing around. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got eight different selections of red wine. They have pina coladas and mojitos. Check. Check. We're in Nizhny Novgorod. Interesting town. First of all, there's a football pitch on the roof of this building, which is dope. It's quite derelict when you get inside the uh, train station. But I just have this image of 10,000 Mexicans walking into Nizhny Novgorod. And that's going to be fantastic. Some work to do right here to us. For sure they will make it. 45,000, but they can do it. Or maybe it's conceptual. We don't know. We are on September 27th, driving in a train between Novgorod and Kazan, Russia. Nadim, what do you think? I just received my tea. You can order tea. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> in Russia, morning. After a long night in the train, we've made it nine hours across the nation of Russia, and we're in Kazan, the home of the Tartars, a place which is known as a separate territory within the country. It's the first Muslim-majority city to host the World Cup match, and there's going to be about eight of them in this territory this summer. For a lot of people who think that the World Cup in Russia isn't a bastion of diversity, 
they haven't quite realized how much actually there is to offer in this country. We're gonna find out what these people are all about. I forgot my shoes in the night tray, and you will see if the lost found works here in Russia. Stay tuned. This one is shurpa. It's mutton with vegetables. And this one is azu, which is beef and potatoes. It's a local specialty. Oh, tandem. So I woke up, got in a train, got in another car, and found myself in the skybox of the Kazan Arena. You guys, this is the Formula One of skybox. Not necessarily my scene, but I definitely want to try it once. Completely crazy. They drove a hard bargain. I'm not sure it was worth it, but I bought this little bear for eight quid. Share this video with five of your friends, and you will win this little bear. <laughs> We've turned this little cabin into an homage to football. 99% of everything you're seeing here is stuff that people have given us, stuff that people have tried to show they're sort of embracing spirit with. And Welcome to Yekaterinburg. It's fucking cold. But that's alright, because the summer it's going to be warm the whole time. This one, it's really nice, it's really cool so far. We're about to head inside. Again, full construction going on. One always wonders how they complete these things in six months time, but they will, they always do. And now we've gotten in, and this stadium on first impression is breathtaking. Look how tall that stand is. That's completely insane, look at the high. It's the highest maybe crazy stand I have seen in this uh, in this tour in Russia you will see all the strategy everything you will be in the first place here to watch all the coaches strategies amazing we're on a trip with people from Germany Switzerland Italy France, Poland, Belgium, England, Russians, of course. We're playing local games, exchanging ideas, having drinks, making fun of each other's stereotypes. We're breaking down walls. When Ellie travels around to these international break competitions, when he goes and meets these people who dream of being in a World Cup, he's doing it because these people dream of having these kinds of moments. These kinds of super eye-opening, my nation made it and so it allows me to see the world kind of moment. It's not about a sense of sort of nationalism and self-importance. It's a matter of being in that group that gets to learn about each other. And when you're qualifying, you're making it to that group. And when you get here, you get to learn about each other. The World Cup and, and what feels lost in modern football and what feels lost to the players who play football is when they give you a World Cup, they give you this experience. I think that's all too forgotten, and I think that's what Russia 2018 is trying to bring back. Good night, fam. <laughs>